Yesterday we talked about the importance of the thyroid and the immune system. And in fact, if you are hypothyroid, uh, which means that your thyroid function is low, your immune system is gonna function less. So if you're dealing with an infection, you're gonna have a harder time to actually fight off that infection. But also you wanna look at the rest of your hormones. And I just wanna show you these, uh, how intricate your hormonal system is. So here, I'm going to bring this up to the camera. So we're looking here at what's called the steroid pathway. So you see how you know all these different steps that needs to take place in order for the steroid, in order for your testosterone, your estrogen, your DHEA, uh, all of that to function properly. So you can actually do here at the uh, at Carlful Center and, and a lot of other places. We have something that's called the Dutch test, which is quite fantastic. Uh, and it's actually looking that instead of a blood test, it's a urine test where you're then looking at the uh, metabolites of your hormones. And this way you can then determine to see where is the issue. You know, so here we're looking then at uh, the different sex hormones. So this is kind of like a snapshot that you get. Uh, your estradiol, your progesterone, your testosterone. And as you can see, this individual is, is tanking in all of these, which means that this individual doesn't really have much hormonal support, which means that that's gonna impact their immune system. It's gonna impact you know, how they feel emotionally, their energy level, how their tissue is repairing. So it is important to look at that to evaluate then your, the, your health status. And looking then at the cortisol, you know, cortisol is, is produced by the adrenals. Uh, you need cortisol, but you don't want to have too much in the wrong time. So you, you want to be within this curve, meaning that you want a higher level in the middle of the day and then lower when you're supposed to fall asleep. You know, a lot of times when you have a hard time falling asleep, your cortisol level can be elevated at night. So you, you want to have a nice peak and then you want to have a dip. So you see this individual uh, it has some cortisol during the day. But you see it, it's elevated towards the evening, which makes it harder for this individual to fall asleep. And you can then see then the different components of it. You know, here's your free cortisol and here's your uh, metabolized cortisol. So you can kind of see how, how that function. And also looking at the DHEA, which is a pro-hormone that's produced by the adrenals that then gets converted to, uh, uh, to some of these hormones. And you can look at this a little bit further so when you do the Dutch test, this is something that you get as well. So you can actually see then the hormonal pathways, so the steroid pathways that they call it because these hormones are steroid hormones. So you start with pregnenolone, which is like a pro-hormone, and then you can then follow the pathways of the hormones and you can then pinpoint and see, ah, the DHEA level is low and that's gonna impact the rest of this pathway. So we need to fill this bucket up in order to be able to support the testosterone levels and also the metabolites of the testosterone. And then you can look here or you see you know, the pregnenolone there, and progesterone, you know, all, all of this is, is kind of on the low side and also the pathways, how it then impacts on the estrogen. And then also how do you metabolize the estrogen? You know, if, you have, if you don't metabolize it properly, then you're at a higher risk than for estrogen causing uh, diseases like you know, cancer, like breast cancer, uterine cancer, ovarian cancer, and so forth. So this becomes really important to see then how you metabolize that. And then also looking at what's called the methylation pathway, which is also part of that, uh, that process, that uh, breaking down of, of the hormones and detoxification. So, so looking then you know, in, in addition you know not just doing then a normal blood test the blood test will, will show you a lot but here you get then a picture of the whole metabolic pathways of these hormones so you can more pinpoint more effectively as to this is where the issue is and that's why we have downstream problems and if we fix it there it will fix it in other areas uh, so I, I highly suggest that you, you take a look at, at your hormones, you know, making sure that they are balanced because uh, a little bit out of balance can impact you a lot.